Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Lubricant that has migrated from the focusing helical or slight corrosion from internal condensation have caused the aperture blades to stick open. Pop the clips on the nameplate free with the lens friction wrench. If the ring does not easily break free, seep some isopropyl alcohol around the filter thread rings to soften the glue on the clips. Remove the three screws holding the filter ring in place. Pinch the lip of the filter ring and lift to remove. Invert the lens to allow the front group to fall out. Don't neglect to catch the lens group as it falls free. Use a soft bristled blower brush to remove any dust that might be present. Flip the partially disassembled lens over. Apply clockwise pressure to the aperture linkage while pressing in on the two breech lock posts. Rotating the breech lock allows the aperture lever to be manipulated and confirm that the aperture blades are non-functioning. Access the three screws that retain the aperture assembly through the front of the lens. After lifting the aperture assembly free, make note of the aperture linkage and how it should be positioned. Using the aperture linkage post, try to position the aperture blades into the closed position. Note the rust left from condensation past. Gently remove the rust with a cleaning swab dipped in 91% isopropyl alcohol. Residual oil on the aperture blades can be removed in the same manner. Once the blades have been confirmed to move freely, reinstall the aperture unit. Take care to connect the aperture linkages. Maneuver the aperture assembly until it drops into position. Reinstall the three aperture assembly screws. Test the aperture for proper function. Seat the front lens group. Take the time to remove any fingerprint smudges. Seat the filter ring. Align the screw holes. Install the three filter ring screws. And finally, snap the clips on the nameplate ring into place. Thank you for watching.